Well, as you know, this is an online class, so there are a lot of things that we're going to do at a distance from one another. However, um, my experience is that students like to see me in person, so I am here four times at today's orientation, and I've got two midterm uh, meetings scheduled and a final meeting. I hope that you all can come, and we will put these times and dates on your uh, calendar, all right? And maybe some of you have jobs to do on, on those particular days that maybe you need to make some arrangements to come uh, instead of doing your job, maybe switch with somebody or whatever you do in, in your workplace. If you, it's totally impossible for you to come, uh, you just need to let me know by email, and we'll see if there's any other way we can manage to do some assessment um, uh, on those experience on those dates so those meetings are not just for tests I call it a midterm meeting we will have some evaluation but it'll also be you know face-to-face -face teaching like this so you have an opportunity to practice um, together with me now because I um, have a lot of options here I also do video and I also do web seminars using teach and confer um, on our website so I have a number of things that I'm going to teach you today uh, to get you introduced to several uh, tools that we're going to use. So um, the books, most people know how to use a book, right? I think you're familiar with that part. So I, don't spend, I won't spend a whole lot of time on how to open the book. And uh, probably you know how to use DVDs and CDs, so I won't go into much detail about how to use those. But I will recommend that if you uh, have an MP3 player, like your iPod or your iPhone or your whatever you've got and you want to um, m you know put your files on your uh, on your player then you can take them with you and listen to them and practice when you are doing other activities like running in the park um, always always have a mirror with you in order to look at your lovely lips your marvelous mouth your terrific teeth all right so don't be shy about that really use this as an important tool. See, I can see you. Everybody can see you and what you look like when you speak. But can you see yourself? Not unless you use a mirror, all right? So if you want to change the way that you speak, then you need to pay attention to that part of you, which is the speaker, and that's this, all right? So use your mirror. Um, now, also, if you're going to be using your computer for, if you're going to be logging on with me for these webinars, I'd like to remind you that there is, um, that you need to use a headphone when you are logging in, okay? So, you can have a headphone like this with a microphone, that's the best kind. The ones we have in this room are the heavy-duty ones. Also, you can, you know, find smaller gadgets like this to, to log in. Now, the reason I don't want you to have the speaker coming out of your computer is because you'll get feedback. You'll hear my voice, and it'll go back in, and you'll, you'll hear two of me, three of me, and everybody will be reverberating. So make sure you're using your headphones. I'm the only one who can do it without the headphones. All right, so um, Angel Learning, um, how many of you have already logged into Angel System? Raise your hand, please. Okay, 100%. Excellent. So you know you need to use your username, seven-digit student ID, which you have, have to memorize. And your password uh, is your birth date, which you probably remember from a long time ago, right? Okay. So all the learning material will be up there 24-7, and I'll have due dates for them. Uh, the due dates will be Monday at 8 a.m. Due dates Monday at 8 a.m. So you can schedule any time that it's convenient for you to do that. Please make your submissions by Monday at 8 a.m., unless otherwise noted, okay? Now, as far as the, the, um, the real-time uh, real web seminars, um, I will schedule them at different times because I know not everyone has the same time off or available. If you can come, that's great. It's not required. It's uh, optional. It's very helpful. I mean, I get to tutor you, and you get to, you know, get personal interaction with me. But uh, if you can't attend, or even if you can, you can always review the recording. So I try to record everything that I do in order for you to have access it to it af afterwards. And I also like my students to remind me to start the recorder, because sometimes I start blathering away without pressing the start button. Okay. Um, 
these, I don't want to read them to you. I think you already downloaded this file. It tells you what our objectives are, and I kind of mentioned them already. Um, do, you know the, do you know the term segmental and suprasegmental? I just want to mention that because that's on the course outline here. Segmental sounds are consonants and vowels. Consonant sounds and vowel sounds. So consonant sounds like k, v, s, those are consonants. Vowels are like e, e, a, a, u, u. So there are 14 vowel sounds in English. And remember that a sound is different from uh, a letter. So we have letters, there are five letters, but there are 14 different sounds that uh, we make in American English. Suprasegmentals are not written down. So supra means over, over and above, right? So suprasegmental means above the written language. So that's the secret stuff that I'm going to teach you. The stuff that you cannot learn from other people who, who know the English language. They know how to write it. They know how to put words together in sentences. But I'm talking about the music. I'm talking about stress, long and short, about intonation, about pause groups about things that you use when you're speaking, and people hear, of course, but are not obvious on paper. And they're not evident at all on paper. So that's the difference between written and spoken English. And we have to do some exercises that help point out what the language sounds like so that you can then use that to modify your accent. OK, so here's a lot of stuff that you can then read on the handout. I have placed an updated version of the handout that you originally downloaded in Angel. So you can go ahead and find that within the Angel course show. Let's go ahead and log into Angel now.